This movie is about workspaces. Excel provides the ability for you to set up a group of workbooks that function as a group. You can pull them up all at the same time and save them as a group of workbooks. We're going to set up a workspace and we're going to use the workspace a little bit. I'm in Excel and I have three workbooks open. I'm going to go to the View tab and show you with the Switch Windows drop-down that I have three workbooks, Book 3, Book 2, Book 1. And I'm going to create a workspace out of these three workbooks. Now there's a couple of reasons why you might want to create a workspace. One is that you have some workbooks that make sense to group together because of the content that's in the workbooks. You utilize these workbooks in combination or together frequent enough to where if you want to work on one of them, it would be convenient to have the rest of them open at the same time. The second reason why you might want to do this, and this may be more compelling than the first reason, is if you have a workbook that's linked to another workbook. Because when that's the case, if you have the workbook that's being linked to open and you move content around and you don't have the workbook that's doing the linking opened at the same time, you can destroy the integrity of the links. If they're both a member of the same workspace, you can open up the workspace, thus opening up the workbooks that are linked at the same time. So I'm going to create a workspace out of these three workbooks by left-clicking Save Workspace. And I get the Save Workspace dialog box where I can name a file that's an XLW file or a workspace file. Left-clicking Save. I'm going to close my workbooks, one, two, three, and press Alt-F-R to get to Recent, where I have not only my three workbooks, but I have a new icon showing the new workspace that I just created. So I'm going to left-click the workspace, and I open up my three workbooks with one click, because they're all part of that workspace. I can then use some of the tiling functionality that we saw in the last movie to arrange the workbooks and display them in several different ways. Once I finished working on the workbooks, I can close them by left-clicking the X that closes the window, or I can left-click the large X, and as long as I have more than one workbook open, I'll close the workbooks. If it's only one workbook and I click the X, I'll close the application itself. So this was about workspaces. We found that we can open up a number of workbooks and define a workspace for which all of the workbooks will become a member. We can open up that workspace and open up all of the workbooks that are a member of that workspace at the same time. We might want to do this because the content is related in the workbooks or because we have workbooks that are linked to other workbooks. Once we open up the workspace, we can tile the workbooks and when we're done, we can independently close the workbooks using either the close window for each of the windows or the close the application button which will sequentially close each workbook until the last workbook and if you click the close the application button one more time at that point you'll close the entire application.